Welcome back, guys, to even more Callus Invitational 3 Round 1 action. This one is quite the interesting one. It is the defending champion, Cowboy Dan, who's been far less active recently, but nevertheless is the defending champion for a reason against Elodin, who, despite being caught up in a ghosting scandal recently, is largely and universally considered a very, very good player across multiple tiers, and he has never played in this particular tournament, the Callus Invitational, before. So it's the defending champ against a debuting player. On paper, a mismatch, but Elodin can just straight up play, and I think no matter which way it goes, this will probably be closer than people who only know Dan and don't know Elodin, or vice versa, may think. This could be a good set. I can't wait to see how it goes. I have not seen the games before. Let's see them together. Elodin on the bottom of the T-Tar. It is a topside Venusaur for Dan, who's playing on Liddy... Lydia. I don't know what the hell I was trying to say the first time. I'll just call him Lydia. But I think... He's little Johnny Jewel. And they're both going to miss on turn one with a Sleep Powder and a Rock Slide, respectively. Sleep Powder does connect on the second attempt, and T Tower takes a nap. Skarm comes in on a Leech Seed. Here's a switch to Zapdos on the Spikes turn. Fairly even game. On one hand, Ulodin has Spikes. On the other hand, there is Sleep on the T Tower, which could matter a lot if it never wakes. And here is Jolteon, which has been tournament MVP so far. That thing just keeps on winning. He's not going to stick around for T-Tower. He BPs out. Dan opts for Rock Slide, hitting Skarm. Focus Punch. Metagross comes into that. Pretty good amount, 44% there. And now Skarm comes into that. He's going to eat a Meteor Mash, 31%. And an Attack Raise for Loden. Wow, those are adding up. 46% now. Skarm definitely not about to live another one. And he doesn't even try. No protect, no anything. He's just going to go straight down, and the lead is going to belong to Elodin. Zapdos here comes in to threaten it. He goes straight Thunderbolt into the Jolteon, which is going to Volt Absorb some health back after stepping on a spike. They both do have the one layer down right now. Venusaur comes into a Thunder Wave. Could matter. I mean, full power is always a thing. And then Venusaur does invest at least a little bit into speed to outrun specific targets. He will be fully paralyzed here as Skarmory comes in. Zapdos switches into it again, and he's going to switch into a Toxic. We have seen only Thunderbolt, so we have no idea if that's an offensive zap that can't remove it, or if it's a rest zap that can. And he's not going to show anything new here, it is just Thunderbolt again. Keeping in mind that there is a Volt Absorb poke, and here it is. Steps on a spike, and it is just Thunderbolt again to be Volt Absorbed and converted into health. Elodin looking pretty good right now, not only with a 6-5 lead, but also with the weakened Zapdos at this time, and a critical hit here. That certainly doesn't help. When you're already ahead and you catch a break, always a good feeling for Elodin, not a good feeling for Dan. Thunderbolt again from Jolteon. That's going to be taken pretty well by Venusaur, only 17%. That feels so low. And Metagross comes in now. BP gives us this matchup again. Metagross and Skarm. More spikes could be coming down here. And it doesn't look like there's a spinner for Cowboy Dan. He attempts Hidden Power. Wouldn't be doing this unless it were HP Fire. As if there were any doubt, it is now confirmed that it is HP Fire. There is 42% on Skarm. Protect coming down now. And Hidden Power again. Might be a third layer here. There's Hidden Power, 39%. Elodin opts for the Roar as opposed to layer number three of Spikes, and he's going to find Tyranitar. Now he goes layer number three, and Rock Slide will take him out, but Skarm did good work there getting all those Spikes down. That's going to be really hard for Dan, who at least three of his four pokes, we don't know the last one, are vulnerable to those Spikes that it doesn't look like he can remove. Gengar sneaks in on HP Grass, but still has to be careful about things like Fire Punch, things like Will-O-Wisp. He stays in, goes straight Psychic, since it is a mixed meta after all. That's going to be resisted by the 4x resisting Metagross, who's now going to blow up. He'll take Zapdos down with him, and we've got ourselves a 4-4. The key difference, however, being the one layer of spikes versus the three layers of spikes. And as such, with the aid of a crit on an Ice Punch, Venusaur is going to go down to Gengar here. 
Three to four now. Unrevealed for both. Make that four to two. Elodin is just cleaning up with Gengar here. Swampert comes in and is gaining leftovers, so it is not the Endeavor Pert that has been so popular in this tournament. And that is going to be a swift Gengar cleanup. Dan cannot handle the coverage plus the spikes. And that is going to be a fairly one-sided beating going the way of Elodin. Putting the defending champ down a game in his opening set and putting him not where he wants to be. Impressive showing for Elodin in this game one. Absolutely stay with me and watch game two to see if he can close this out. I'll see you guys there.